Dude, we got this back scratcher in the shot. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about installing the ZWO EAF electronic focuser. It's ironic that it's out of focus, here we go. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about installing the ZWO EAF electronic focuser on the Xenostar Z73 and Xenostar Z61 APO refractors. Now, since these refractors have a very similar installation process, I'll be demonstrating this on the Z73. At the end of this video, I will show you what is different on the Z61, so you can see if this product is right for you. So with that, let's get this. Well, here it is, the EAF all nice and snugly in the box. So what you'll have is your electronic focuser, you'll have the bracket, and also underneath the bracket, you'll get some hardware, which you have some screws, some grub screws, also some washers. And then you have four collars in the box. This takes the place of the focusing knob on your telescope. For this installation on the Z73 and Z61, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a two millimeter and three millimeter hex head tool. Also the EAF itself, the bracket, one of the collars or couplings that will fit on your telescope, you'll just have to experiment with the couplings when you remove the focusing knob, which I'll show you here in a few. For three millimeter screws and two washers, I chose the shorter three millimeter screws that were in the box and four grub screws that you'll be fitting into the coupling itself. Next, go ahead and install the grub screws into the coupling. Just make sure that they're in. You don't have to tighten them all the way. Just make sure they're just in the coupling itself. Also take note that in the coupling, there is a large hole and a smaller hole. The smaller hole is gonna go onto the EAF shaft while the larger hole will go onto the telescope side. Grab your EAF and also your coupling. Also make note that there is a flat spot in the shaft itself on the EAF. That is for one of the grub screws to tighten down onto. Put the coupling on and tighten it down so it doesn't go anywhere. Don't tighten it down all the way, we'll be needing to adjust it later on. Next, you're gonna wanna invert your telescope. And how to do that is you loosen up the telescope rings and just spin your telescope around until the focuser is facing upwards towards you. Don't forget to tighten it back down before the next step. The knob that you're gonna wanna remove is the one with the temperature gauge on it. On the Z73, there are two sets of grub screws on the knob itself. Remove both of these grub screws and set them aside in a safe place. Once these screws are removed or loosened up, the knob should slide off very easily. On the Z73, you're gonna wanna remove a few grub screws. The ones that I removed were the two innermost ones, and that you can just take out like that. Put them aside somewhere safe just in case you want to restore it back to its stock configuration. Now you're ready to fit the bracket on but remember when you tighten the bracket down you just want to make sure it's held in place. Don't tighten it all the way down because we're going to be adjusting it later down the road. And yes you'll be using two three millimeter screws to hold the bracket in place. Grab your EAF with your coupler installed, then take some time to adjust the bracket and EAF so both pieces will fit flush together. Just be patient here at this point and it should all come together for you. Now with everything flushed up, you'll be using the two remaining three millimeter screws with washers to bolt the EAF to the bracket. At this point, hand tightening should be fine because we're still gonna need to do some adjustments. This is where you wanna make sure that you can see the grub screws that are installed on the coupler. You can get to them with a tool from the top and from the side. Adjust the coupler so that you can, then tighten all four of the grub screws on the coupler so that the coupler is secure on the telescope's focusing shaft. Now do your final tightening on the rest of the screws and there you have it. You've just installed your electronic focuser from ZWO. Onto the Xenostar Z73 APO refractor. But hey, what about the Z61? Well, it is a little bit different, and I'll show you in which ways. On the Xenostar Z61, there are two grub screws that are also hidden to remove the focusing knob. 
first, you want to remove the top grip screw pictured here. Now looking down into the hole, you'll be able to see the screws if you tilt the focuser left and right. These screws are 90 degrees apart, and all you have to do is put the tool in the hole and remove the grub screws. With the screws removed, the focusing knob should come off quite easily. From here, the insulation is totally the same. You're going to use this screw here and this screw here for your bracket to mount to. And then for some reason, if your focuser won't focus, you want to loosen that screw up. And like magic, your electronic focuser will start electronic focusing. Do you see Taco back there? Alright, check this out. What the heck, Taco? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> well, guys, hopefully this helped you out in some way. If it did, let me know down in the comments. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.